the most terrifying thing discovered by the Voyager spacecraft. The cosmos are ripe with unanswered questions, unresolved mysteries that defy our current level of knowledge. These are the sorts of things that astronauts and explorers encounter in space. Because space is where the world's greatest secrets are kept, it's no surprise that the mysteries they unearth there are among the most profound. When astronauts return from space missions, they always bring back unique data that can be used to further scientific inquiry and exploration. Instead of recognizing the crucial part played by machines in these explorations, we tend to focus on the achievements of individual humans. In light of this, we'll be focusing on two essential pieces of equipment that have made substantial contributions to space exploration and continue to do so to this day. Decades have passed since the launch of these two instruments into orbit, but they continue to amaze with their remarkable findings. Not all of it is good, though. Let's take a peek at the Voyager 1 and 2 saga, shall we? As the spacecraft discovered something very terrible in the cosmos above our heads. Let's take a closer look at the two spaceships by breaking them down into their most basic components. The next level of space exploration was advanced to in August 1977. NASA was at the forefront of this effort because they felt space travel deserved more attention. NASA had the foresight to realize they needed to expand on the moon landing eight years after Neil Armstrong took that stride. NASA was confident they were doing the right thing by sending the Voyagers into space. We dispatched Voyagers 1 and 2 into space to help us learn more about the cosmos. There were uncharted worlds in close proximity to Earth, just begging to be explored. And the explorers provided a great entry point for doing so. Here we are 45 years later, and the Voyagers have accomplished a great deal. Even though they're identical in construction, the two spaceships will be traveling in different locations. After Voyager 1 successfully returned photographs of Saturn's rings and largest moon, Titan, Voyager 2 was dispatched for an even more mammoth mission. The mission of this spacecraft is to investigate the planets in our solar system and to learn more about the environment surrounding the Earth. The irony of the Voyager mission is that it was only intended to be active for around five years. This year marks 45 years of this ongoing mission without a break in sight. The Voyager team's scientists should be commended for their work on this. It's challenging to create machinery that outlasts its projective lifespan by a significant margin. It's not your PlayStation that doesn't need to be kept clean or dust-free, but it still performs flawlessly. Before we get into the scary part of what the Voyagers have found, let's recap what the Voyagers have accomplished thus far in the two principal missions. The Voyager's primary mission was accomplished as the spaceship traversed the solar system with the help of remote control reprogramming, which gave scientists even more command over the advanced spacecraft. Although it was established that the trip encompassing all four planets was feasible, it was concluded that the cost of developing a spacecraft capable of traveling such a great distance, while also transporting the necessary instruments, was prohibitive. The Voyagers were given a lot of money so that they can investigate the planets of Jupiter and Saturn in great detail. About 10,000 different paths were analyzed before it was decided that they would travel by Jupiter and Saturn and their moons. Voyager 1's initial course was planned to take it past Saturn's moon Titan rather close up. This skewed the spaceship's trajectory northward, away from the ecliptic plane. The vast majority of planets orbit the Sun in this plane. Before leaving Earth, Voyager 2 was programmed to fly by Saturn at an angle that would send it on its way to Uranus. In 1986, Voyager 2 discovered Uranus and transmitted back stunning images and a wealth of data on the planet and its several moons, black rings, and magnetic field. Voyager 1's continuous journey into deep space and exploration of the cosmos didn't stop while it was busy with this. Voyager 1's equipment may have been the first ever to detect the transition from solar-bound space to the world of the stars, known as interstellar space. In keeping with the interstellar theme, we will now discuss the interstellar mission. The Voyager 1 spacecraft's interstellar mission is to expand NASA's area of exploration beyond the solar system's outer planets and the heliosphere. Reason being, the necessity of finding out what lies beyond is incalculable, and the potential that lies beyond is enormous. The heliopause border, 
the outskirts of the sun's magnetic field and the outward flow of the solar wind will all be sought out by this mission as it continues to define the environment of the outer solar system. Accurate observations will be possible due to the solar wind penetrating the heliopause boundary between the solar wind and the interstellar medium. The significance of this mission lies in the fact that it extends the Voyager mission that was originally finished in 1989 when it flew by Neptune. Voyager 2 made its final stop at Neptune, the furthest planet from the Sun. When Voyager 1 visited the solar system, it explored the outer planets of Jupiter and Saturn, while Voyager 2 explored Neptune and Uranus. Towards one year, Voyager 1 has traveled 3.6 AU, or 35 degrees north of the ecliptic plane, in the direction of the Sun's apex as it leaves our solar system. The direction of the Sun's motion with respect to the surrounding stars is its apex. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 is leaving the solar system at a rate of around 3.3 AU per year. At last, we'll get to the scary part of our topic that everyone has been waiting for. It's how the aliens on Voyager 2 communicate with us. When did this occur, and how accurate is the story? To give you an idea of how far away Voyager 2 is, consider the fact that it takes 13 hours for Earth's directives to reach the probe. However, information isn't always transmitted in an unambiguous fashion. It wasn't until the year's end that anybody suspected the explorer had encountered something out of the ordinary. Quickly, conspiracy theorists jumped on this hiccup, turning it into a juicy tale. The Voyager 2 probe's communications with Earth were supposedly disrupted because aliens had located it and altered its programming. This might seem ridiculous at first, but a German specialist has stated that this glitch can be explained by extraterrestrials. The UK's The Telegraph also joined the fray, adding to the uncertainty by citing a purported UFO expert without checking their claims with more reliable sources in the field of space travel. This just existed to attract attention and generate copy sales. The most plausible possibility is that something went wrong with the Voyager's programming, but there is still no consensus that a UFO or aliens were involved. However, the alien theory is one that can surely last for quite some time. Why? Because it involves a genuine human curiosity and a quest that has endured for centuries. Just imagine if aliens existed and they managed to muck up the settings on a floating machine that was in their domain. Perhaps we should take this as a warning and steer clear of them. Whatever it is, it's not very logical and we wouldn't bother knocking on a door that leads to a dead end. It's fun to speculate, but you should take this with a grain of salt. The success of the Voyager mission should be our top priority, as it is the engine that will drive our progress in this area. Aliens may be sending signals to warn us off because they're too afraid to deal with humanity in the future. We can use that to make some educated guesses. What do you think about the alien theory? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more. We have another interesting space adventure ready for you. Click the video on your screen. We will see you in another episode of Space News Unfold.